I am going to show how to use Edgewise and Recap and Cyclone and Revit all to help with piping models from scan data. Here we start in Cyclone. Cyclone is made by Leica and we can see a section of our scan and I've already reduced it down with the limit box and we can go and look at it and see how it's come in with the scanning software. From there I export to PTG format which I will then use for import into Edgewise and into Recap. Here I am in Autodesk Recap. I want to bring those PTGs in for using later in Revit and also to look at them. I select the scan files. I can go and select them all, open them, and read them in with some different settings. I can do a noise filter, non-standard or aggressive, and I also like to set the decimation grid to 2 millimeters, and I click Start Import. In Recap, when I've got everything imported from the PTGs, it obviously looks a lot like it did in Cyclone. From here, you can do some further cleanup for going into Revit or whatever else you want to do, export parts of it and do things. But the main thing is this is a good preprocessor from the PTGs to get it ready for import into Revit 2014. Here we are in Edgewise. Edgewise is a software made by ClearEdge 3D and it attempts to sort out scan data into pipes. It does so with some success, but it is only a start to help us somewhat in our modeling when we get it into Revit. Where we do what we do first is hit process scans and we select the PTG files that were exported from Cyclone. We do create a pipe model. There are some settings there. I'm just going to keep the defaults and it goes and tries to figure out what are cylindrical and turn them into pipes. What points are cylindrical? It's got some kind of fancy algorithms. I'll pause this for a moment and we'll see it when it's done. The processing is done. It says all pro files processed successfully and let's take a look. We go to the model tab go to the file tab and do add model and then open pipe model. Here we are. It's made several files with this extension of C3 pipes and I open all of those. And it just says that two failed to load because there weren't enough pipes. And there it is. That's what Edgewise has determined our that our pipes in this from the scan data. We also have this button Easy Connect. It's got a setting specify how aggressively Edgewise should connect the pipe fragments. I'll take the default and it goes shows it in black where it thinks pipes can connect. There's also this button here, clean pipes, merge collinear pipes with a tolerance and it gets rid of some of those black temporary connections from what it thinks are pipes. There are also some other functions in here like changing everything to orthogonal and you can do quality control checking pipes versus schedules and things like that. But I'm just going to take 
what edgewise syncs our pipes and bring that into Revit. To bring this data into Revit, we have an export to Revit button in edgewise. And we can give it a file name. It saves it. We also have export to like a COE format. Which we could then use to export. I suppose it's the same data or similar data into AutoCAD with a plugin for AutoCAD that Leica gives away. For Revit, it's only going to work in Revit 2013. It has to be either full Revit or Revit MEP because it's making pipes. This is as of July 2013. It does not yet work for Revit 2014, so we have to bring it into Revit 2013 and then upgrade it. We are in Revit 2013 and I will start a new project or RVT. We can go to a 3D view and we have some software that's already been installed as an add-in into Revit 2013 open model. We select the C3 RVT format which Edgewise produced. Let's see what happens. It tells us what it did. It did 99 of 100 pipes and 21 of 25 elbows. Our view needs to be fine to see them better and we can go TL and do Thin line and SD on the keyboard for shaded. That's what we've got. I also, meanwhile, have exported some PTSs from, or a PTS file from Cyclone, which I can bring in and compare it. I do insert, point cloud, the PTS needs to be converted to PCG for Revit 2013, which can be done within Revit or little exe that also is in the Revit folder. I'm going to do origin to origin and open. Now we can compare. Now we see that Edgewise thought that a lot of this concrete deck up here were actually pipes. Doesn't help us much. Just select them and delete. And down here we have some more comparison to do. I think this is not really a pipe, it's some kind of barrel. I'm going to delete that. Then we can save this to a project file .rvt. Which will upgrade into 2014 and see how it looks there. I've just upgraded that RVT into 2014 format. Revit is warning me that it has an obsolete point cloud. I could say ignore and I'd say it looks very similar to how it looked in 2013. Now if we delete this point cloud I will show you how it looks with the point cloud that's been processed via recap and is it and it is in RCP format also origin to origin and let's see the difference we saw what the 2013 style point cloud looked like which is 
from PCG format. And now here, quite a difference, eh? Autodesk calls that improved visual fidelity. I call it a whole new world of looking at point clouds. Once we have that, we can do things like duplicate the view, turn on the section box, and start to look at this and see how much more work we have to do. Now we see that Edgewise has gotten some of the pipes in pretty well, but it also left a lot out. Plus we have things like valves and other equipment that we need to model. I'd say it's got us, Edgewise has got us 10, 20, 25% of the way somewhere around there. I will pause the recording and show this model further along. This is that room showing the pipes with a bunch of more work done to it. And it's just a question of interpreting, tracing, modeling, making families, whatever else you have to do to get things done in Revit. And I will turn on the point cloud to see what that looks like in context. That was a demonstration of using Cyclone by Leica, Recap by Autodesk, Edgewise by Clear Edge 3D, Revit 2013 and Revit 2014 by Autodesk.